How much does it cost to charge an electric car? It's easy to figure out how much it costs to charge an electric car with information from the EPA, your electric company, or the company operating a public charging company. In most cases, it's cheaper than a similar gas-powered vehicle. Hello and welcome back to Automotive Class, your go-to destination for all things automotive. Today, we're diving into the world of electric vehicles to uncover a fundamental question. How much does it cost to charge an electric car? Join us as we break down the economics behind EV charging, explore different charging methods, and provide you with the insights you need to understand. The expenses of owning and operating an electric vehicle. Let's plug in and unravel the cost of going electric. When shoppers are considering the purchase or lease of an electric vehicle, one of the first questions they ask is, how much does it cost to charge? For a gas-powered car, you only have to look at its fuel economy and your gas station receipt. But there are a couple of ways to answer that question for an EV since there are a couple of ways to charge up. If you're charging from a home charging station, the cost of charging an electric vehicle is based on the vehicle's energy efficiency and the cost of electricity, which can vary greatly depending on where you're charging. In most cases, charging an EV at home is dramatically less expensive than fueling a gasoline or diesel vehicle. When you're charging your electric car from a public charging station, you'll pay either by the cost of electricity or the amount of time you spend tethered to the station. In some cases, you won't pay for the charge at all. Fortunately, there's ample information to help you determine the cost to charge almost any electric vehicle available in the marketplace. And the math involved is pretty simple. Charging at home. For most EV buyers or lessees, charging your electric vehicle at home is the most convenient and lowest cost option for daily charging. You simply plug your car into a level one three-prong 120 volt household outlet. A 240 volt outlet, similar to what your clothes dryer uses, or a level two electric car charging station that's been installed. Cost-wise, there's little difference in the daily price of electricity between the two charging levels. Though a level two EV charging station is typically the fastest and most convenient option. Figuring out the cost. To determine the cost of charging an electric car, you simply multiply the cost of electricity in your area by the vehicle's fuel efficiency. Once you know the cost per 100 miles, you can use your vehicle's EPA-estimated range to determine the cost of refilling it from 0% to 100% charge. You don't need to know the car's battery capacity or do anything beyond some simple math to find the total cost. Let's look at exactly where to find the numbers that need to be crunched. Electric car efficiency. The EPA has developed a way to compare the efficiency of gasoline and electric vehicles called MPG. That's not the number we'll use for calculating the cost to charge, though. On an electric vehicle's window sticker, you'll see a number labeled kilowatt hour per 100 miles. The same information for both EV and plug-in hybrid vehicles is also available at the EPA's fuel economy, cost of electricity. There are a couple of ways to determine the cost of electricity in your area. You can get a ballpark idea by looking at the U.S. Department of Energy's Energy Information Administration's state-by-state -state energy cost guide. When exploring the table, you'll see the wide range of costs across the country. From North Dakota's 962 cents per kilowatt hour in December 2022 to Hawaii's 4478 cents per kilowatt hour. The national average in December 2022 was 1496 cents per kilowatt hour. Because costs can vary within states among different power providers seasonally. And based on the rate plan you choose from your power provider, it's a good idea to do a little math to determine your cost of power. How do you find the full range cost? Now that you know the cost you're going to pay per kilowatt hour and how many kilowatt hours the EV will take to travel 100 miles, you just multiply the two. For example, charging the 28 kilowatt hour per 100 mile 2023 Chevrolet Bolt in Colorado, where the average cost per kilowatt hour is 14.24 cents, will cost 3.99s to power for 100 miles, or about 4 cents per mile. How can you reduce your cost of electric car charging? You can reduce the cost of charging EVs by charging them at the right time. In many areas, electric utilities offer time-of-use electric rates, with higher costs at peak hours and low costs when energy demand is at its lowest. If your utility offers the program and you schedule your EV to charge late at night, you can save a tremendous amount in energy cost. How much does a charging station cost? while having a level two charging station installed in your home isn't necessary. Having one makes the EV ownership experience much easier. Installing one usually improves charging speeds and with some charging stations, allows monitoring and scheduling using a smartphone app. Note that we call them charging stations. Electric cars carry their level one 120 volt 
and level 2 240 volt chargers internally. The charging station or electric vehicle supply equipment just connects your home's power to the car's internal charger through its charging port. As electric vehicle battery packs evolve, charging with a level 1 120 volt household outlet is becoming less and less of a viable option, as it can take 40 50 hours to charge these higher range vehicles from empty. Charging on the road. While home charging is how most EV owners will replenish their EV's battery, it's not always possible. When you're out on the road, you need to take advantage of level two public charging stations and level three DC fast chargers to refuel your EV. If you live in a multi-unit housing complex with no place to install your charging station, public charging may be your only option. Let's look at a couple of networks to illustrate the different pricing models. In Washington, D.C., the Electrify America network charges 48 cents per kilowatt hour to charge at one of their fast chargers. Members who pay a four monthly fee get a discounted rate of 36 cents per kilowatt hour. If we were to charge a 2023 Chevy Bolt, which takes 28 kilowatt hour to travel 100 miles, it would cost 34 to 81 to get a full battery at Electrify America's standard rate. Spending one full hour at an Electrify America fast charger would cost $28.80. Where to find free charging? You can reduce your cost of charging to zero if you're able to take advantage of free charging. Some electric car makers offer free charging to their buyers and lease customers, though the amount of time you get varies dramatically. Volkswagen offers one of the best deals, with the ability to plug in the 2023 Volkswagen ID for free at Electrify America Chargers for 30-minute fast charging sessions for three years. Tesla goes back and forth with free access to its supercharger network, occasionally offering drivers the ability to plug in at no cost. Many shopping centers offer level two charging as a free benefit while shopping. While most shoppers don't spend enough time with their car on the charger to fill up the battery completely, you can get at least a few miles of additional range. In some cases, the charging stations are placed close to the front door, providing another incentive to drive a plug-in vehicle. The PlugShare app is an excellent way to find charging stations, their status, and their cost. Workplace charging. Some employers offer the ability to recharge your plug-in car while you work. Employers receive incentives to provide the benefit, which can save EV drivers the cost of charging at home or other public stations. Workplace chargers are typically level two charging stations, as the installation costs of a level three rapid charger are typically too high for employers to pay. A level 2 charger is fast enough to recharge almost any EV in the span of a normal workday. Thank you for joining us on Automotive Class as we decoded the expenses tied to charging your electric car. For more automotive insights, tips, and in-depth discussions, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and share it with fellow EV enthusiasts. Remember, the future of driving is electric. So stay informed, stay charged, and until next time, drive safe and enjoy the ride.